another question from Christopher. It's not a question, it's more of a comment that I, I read and I, I thought I'd address it, I'd talk into it. And Christopher says, I assume because he's so mild-mannered that he never committed violent actions for money, thus wasn't needing to hide from the law. Uh, he therefore always held within the path back. Okay, yeah, good observation, Chris. But um, you're right. I didn't commit any action, any violence for money. But that's not to say I didn't commit any violence. Um, I was actually I was a very, very, very angry person. And one of the things that I used to do, we've, you know, we, we've heard of you know, the people that uh, self-mutilate. You know, they'll cut themselves or bash their head against the wall, uh, cause physical pain to themselves to try and get some relief from the emotional pain. You know? I, was, I was like that. I was very much like that. But the way I did it, uh, I'd pick a fight. I'd go in and I'd pick a fight. And I usually pick a fight with um, the biggest guys in the pub. Or you know, if there wasn't any really big guys that I thought were bigger, I'd pick a fight with a few people. The end result was always I came off worse. I always had bruises, blood. A few times I've had to have stitches. I've got a, got a few scars on the body um, that, uh, you know, as, as a result of my, uh, my ac activities. But also, um, I did something very, very dangerous and very silly you know, when I was about 29. And... Uh, you can read a little bit more about it in the book. I write, I write quite extensive, extensively on it in the book. But basically, um, I set fire to a to a dwelling whilst knowing someone was in there. Um, of course, the person that was in there was me, myself. But apparently, the law doesn't dif differentiate between uh, one person or another person. Um, Hence the charge set fire to a, maliciously set fire to a dwelling whilst knowing other people, uh, or whilst knowing a person was inside. And that caused a lot of grief for me. Um, you know, I spent quite a while going through the court system. I went into the court system. I was to face a, a jury of my peers in the district court. Um, But I, I was fortunate because I had a psychologist um, approach me while I was in protective custody in, uh, in a hospital. And the psychologist said to me, he said, I don't think you were responsible for your actions. He said, if you do what I ask you to do, um, I think you know, we, can, uh, we can get you off these charges. So he promptly, I agreed, after, after some thought I agreed, and he promptly started to fill me up with drugs. You know, triptanol, Ligactyl, and I can't think of it. Um, can't think of the other one offhand. But oh, they were great drugs. They were great drugs. The, the thing about it was, while I was on those drugs, I didn't need to drink or use, use other drugs. They did everything for me. Eventually, I did. Um, uh, I was granted a new bill, which basically means um, that they found me not guilty on the grounds of insanity or temporary insanity, and I had to go through a little uh, stay on the drugs for 12 months. 
and then they should go off. But when I made that decision to change who I was, I had a lot of baggage. There was a lot of baggage that I was dragging around behind. State debt was a big one. I owed the state a lot of money, uh, tens of thousands of dollars, uh, from fines, traffic fines, for um, infringement notices where I'd been violent and fined. So one of the things that I had to do was go to the state, well actually it was two states, Queensland and New South Wales, and negotiate with them a way forward. How do I pay this money? And I did that. You know, I committed to do that. And it took me years to pay all that money back a little bit at a time. But that gave me a sense of freedom. You know, um, it also helped me to get past that anxiety, that constant anxiety that yeah, that I, that I experienced because what I learned is that I used to be a very anxious person. I had suffered severely from anxiety. And what I learned was that each time I did something like that that took away and addressed another worry, I became less anxious and I became more peaceful with myself. Um, I also had to go around and talk to the people that I'd hurt, physically, emotionally, mentally, uh, and say sorry to them. You know, and that was important, I guess, for, for me, but it also acknowledged the, the pain and the grief that I caused them as well. And that became an important part of my life. And, now today I'm free from any of those guilts or shames or anxieties, and um, you know uh, it's a it's a it's really a beautiful thing to be able to be free of those anxieties.